Charities have warned that because of soaring energy prices, British pensioners are buying books at thrift stores and burning them to stay warm during this particularly cold British winter. To help out these pensioners, an American organisation named Freedom Action has collected copies of Al Gore's books and sent them to Oxfam in the UK to be distributed. We managed to catch up with a couple of pensioners who were very grateful to Freedom Action and to Al Gore. Well, I think Al Gore's books burn better than other books, you know. Oh, they burn nice and slowly. Uh, could be because they're mostly poppycock. Oh, you mean shite. Yeah, you're right. They burn almost too slowly, actually. You kind of want them to get on with it. Oh, it's true. It's been burning inconvenient truth for three straight days now. Still, there shows no sign of stopping. But it's quite nice, really. It's, well, it's the cheapest fuel money can buy. Oh, and clean. Right, it's clean. Don't forget to say clean. If the government doesn't know it's clean energy, they might put a tax on our Al Gore books. Or take them away. Yeah, right. Take them away. And, well, if they take our Al Gore books away, I just don't know what we'll burn to stay warm with. Oh, and newspapers, maybe? No, no, because newspapers are going out of business, see. Newspapers are dwindling resource. That's why we can use Al Gore's books, you see, because they're like a renewable resource. Because as long as we're in such danger, you know, from the from the world getting so warm and all... Oh, right, global warming is terrible. Oh, it's terrible crisis, really. And as long as we've got that going on, um, I, feel, I feel very confident that Mr Al Gore will be able to keep writing books for us to burn. Environmental campaigners have condemned the pensioners' actions, saying they will need the books to fan themselves with during a scorching summer expected in the next decade or so. 